Man, I love topping. Oops, I stuffed up. This video is about top N, not toppings. Enjoy the video. These are short two minute sessions designed to help you solve real problems, not just wander through the syntax. In this session, we're looking at once again, classical problems made simple through the use of analytics. As Albert Einstein said, imagination is more important than knowledge. We're not using analytics just for analysis. We're not using analytics just for data warehouses. We can use it in all frames of our Oracle development cycle. Today's classic problem is what is the top five days of sales in our history? Now, of course, that's actually very easy and you don't even need analytics to actually solve that one. We can do it with a simple inline view and this has been available since Oracle 8.1. We simply select from our Walmart sales, order by tote sales descending, which gives us all the sales in descending order, and we simply limit it to the first five using Ronum. And there's our answer. In 12C, we can actually simplify that syntax even more using what's called the row limiting syntax, which is simply fetch first five rows only at the end of our order by clause. Once again, unrelated to analytics. However, what if the requirement gets changed to what are the top five days of sales in our history by each store? Suddenly, analytics is something we're going to need here. Let's build up our analytic as we've always done in the past. Because it's top five, we're doing a ranking function. When someone said by store, we immediately think the partitioning clause, partition by store ID in this case. And because we need to define the ordering from our rank, we're doing it by sales, so it's order by total sales descending. Descending being important because the ranking will then be one through five for the highest sales, not the lowest sales. Let's plug that into our query and there's our result. We can do a bit of highlighting here to help ease the explanation. For store ID number one, there are the top five sales. For store ID number two, there's the next top five sales and so on for all the stores. You can run these queries yourself by clicking on the link below before we go, just a quick sidebar on the row limiting syntax you saw in 12C. Here's a repeat of the syntax. Let's do an execution plan trace on that and see how we actually implement it. You can see when you look down at the predicate information, line 2, the filter, we're actually using an analytic to do the top 5 rows. Analytics are so good, we use them ourselves inside the optimizer. In the next session, we'll look at more classical problems made simple. Thanks very much for watching and don't forget to keep it simple with SQL. We'll see you all again soon.